my family homesteaded 1910 um, and then has just slowly grown over the years. We came back and had an opportunity to buy a ranch in 2009, so we've been back 12 years. Only been farming since about 2015. Both my dad and my uncle have been fairly innovative on what they've been doing, um, and so we've kind of just picked up from there and um, tried to push it about as hard as we can push it. Ultimate goal for me is that we leave the world a better place than we started with so our children can be healthier and it starts at the soil. So if we have healthier soil, healthier food, healthier people and that's just, that's the goal. We were given the opportunity the last several years to work with NRCS on some very specific programs. Two equip programs are built around the farm ground soil health so we've gotten the stripper header and able to put the disc drill across more acres. Also get some water lines run and the fences run. The challenge has been with the farm ground is that most people didn't have fence and didn't have water. So once we get that infrastructure challenge um, sought to, we will be able to change what we're doing significantly. Montana Focus Conservation is process that we have to target our funding for the Environmental Qualities Incentives Program, so for EQIP. And what that does is it focuses on the local resource concerns. In Liberty County, soil health was the concern, was the top concern. So we wrote, we call them a TIP, Targeted Implementation Plan, focusing on soil health targeting the more progressive producers who have been to soil health workshops who are trying to dabble in this on their own and we could come alongside and really raise the bar. Our main goal is to try to at least cover all of the five soil health principles. So we've added a lot of diversity. There wasn't a lot of different crops in this area until recently so we we're growing six or seven different crops on our place where we used to grow spring wheat winter wheat barley they're using a disc drill converting from a hoe drill to a disc drill so that they have minimal disturbance at all they roll together and as this is in the ground the seed will fall down in here into the seed trench and very little compaction probably less compaction than a hoe drill and no disturbance whatsoever. They're seeding warm season cover crops that are season long and then grazing them in the fall. So we have a living root much longer in the soil. The weight gain on the cover crops was surprising. This will be a winter stockpile. We'll probably hit this in December or January when things up at the ranch are a little snowy or whatever. Where we went through everything up there fast and high, so we just top it. We'll go back and regraze that all again this winter. This is a field we grazed about 20 days ago. So there's 15 acres in here and we put 175 pair in here for about 30 hours. So we can go in and see if there's, what kind of recovery. So that's a, that's a really short duration, high stock density graze for us. Um, I, I think I did the math, it's like 15,000 pounds of live animal per acre. Has had a lot of like club moss and this shrub in here and with putting the more animals in you can see we're getting, like that would be completely new growth, this would have all been bare in here. So with the extra animal impact we're, we're, we're definitely filling in the bare ground and you can see, so this would have all been taken off and like this guy here. If we were really thought we were getting a lot of rain and uh, wanted to keep it vegetative, we'd start clipping this again because it's gone to three leaf. So it's, it's pretty much fully recovered. I would definitely recommend the NRCS to any producer that has an interest in trying to leave their land better for the next generation. That's their main goal is to help us figure out how to do this properly. They've been a huge help, just the mentoring on cover crops and rotations and things like that. So it's been more than just a, an economic benefit. It's been really helpful to have a lot of different, different information to get.